back everybody to another first descendant video here on the channel so i discovered something while playing actually farming for ultimate bunny so here you're gonna need sadly you're gonna need a character which is called enzo you guys can farm this guy very easily so the majority of people that actually are watching this video hopefully you guys beat the game already because you can actually fly through this guy and actually farm him pretty quickly so enzo so what's gonna happen is enzo is gonna allow us to farm these little encrypted vaults that can give us these we have to play these little mini games and it's going to give us an option to left click right click our mouse and we're going to get kuiper shards a good amount of them so if you play the game we go to consumables and go to so if we go to our consumables and scroll all the way down to the last option here we have these ultra precision code breakers and these uh, materials these analyzers containing a code that can crack encryption set by the, the magisters it can only be used on encrypted vaults in a normal difficulty fields so we need to have enzo while using these because because Enzo, we're going to scan the area. We're going to look for that a encrypted vault is nearby so we can actually farm this Kuiper shard. And to farm these position code analyzers, you go to acquisition info. Then you can go to any of these missions here and actually farm any of these. So they're pretty much everywhere on the map around the area. So you can just click one here. There's one right here. Um, You're not going to get it your first try. You, you might if you get lucky, but there is going to be a lot of RNG and a lot of farming for this. You guys can slow the video down here. You can see all the locations here where you can find this thing at and just farm them. Um, if you pretty much beat the game and completed the story, you probably have a few of these already. So just by playing the game regularly, I farmed up these pretty quickly so uh, what we need to do is since we're enzo um you guys want to unlock enzo i'll have a full video guide link in the description of this video of me unlocking enzo it's straightforward and it's pretty easy uh use the wikipedia in the game as your advantage because it tells you everything how to get certain things in a game it literally tells you look so use this game as an advantage of trying to look for things it's kind of straightforward and common sense but there's only there's always going to be that one guy saying he's not getting it but the fact is you have to farm it until you get it so this is a looter shooter game so once you have enzo you go to uh, the fortress and we're just gonna spawn hmm, let's just spawn right here at the defense line and i'm gonna show you guys what exactly what i'm trying to say here so it's gonna be kind of confusing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play as enzo so as we spawn at the fortress here as we spawn at the fortress here and then we're gonna use tab on pc to scan the area just like that and basically we're gonna look for we're gonna hear we're gonna look for the sound of hearing a beep sound so if i find one i'll cut the video to that point so here we go i found one so i'm gonna scan it you can hear the beep so there it is so basically we have to listen to the sound of this and basically find it they're all over the map and having enzo is key to using this because he gives us a signal to where these encrypted vaults are to give these to basically do this mini puzzle and once we complete that mini puzzle it's going to give us kuiper shards and other materials so once you farm for bunny or ultimate bunny you probably will come across this kind of stuff that we're doing right now it is kind of random so as you hear the beep is is getting more louder and louder as we get closer to it then the more you go away from it the more it's going to disappear so we keep scanning the area we need to try to uh, try to find this vault encrypted uh, statue by listening to the sound of enzo when he uh this little scanning area here so i just love how each character in this game has a unique way of farming different kind of materials which is cool i like how they use enzo to pretty much use his scan ability to scan the area and look for a a beep and sound to it indicates that there's a encrypted vault nearby that we need to basically farm kuiper shards which is going to give us 25k for each one so that is a lot if you uh farmed up a lot of these these code analyzers you could probably farm up quite a bit of these kai kuiper shards which is actually a brilliant idea because i was actually uh working on a video on ultimate bunny i was like wait this could be a good idea to farm kuiper shards and that's exactly what we're doing right now so i'm just gonna keep scanning the area here let's see if i can scan the area here okay we lost the beeping sound so i'm gonna go back to where we was i also can scan enemies too so that is a cool thing to use your, your scanning thing as your advantage it can also scan materials and you have advantage over certain characters which is actually pretty cool so here we go we hear the beep again 
Okay, I got a feeling this one's going to be underground. Okay, there's just no way there's one up here. So we're going to go underground here. And um, this is a pretty neat little thing they put inside of the first descendant. I think this is like the coolest thing they did here, which is actually pretty cool here. So I'm just going to keep following the sound here. So we're slowly, I think we're slowly going away from it. Okay, the sound is getting louder here. So, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we found one. Okay, here we go. So we're going to use the precision code breaker. We're going to interact with E. And here we go. This is going to give us a little mini game here. That'd be the clear. We have to click. We have to right click. It's going to be one of those two. Left click. There we go. Power system restored. Watch this. 23,000 Kuiper shards. Holy crap. So as long as you farm those code analyzers and just scan while using Enzo, I don't know if this works. I don't know if it works if you're using another character, but you guys can, can confirm that in the comments below. Um, I don't know if you can use another character to open those or not, but just be safe. I've been using Enzo because he's the only one that can actually sound these off with these beeps to actually here to locate where these encrypted vaults are. They give you mass amounts of Kuiper shards to upgrade your modules with your weapons and plus your character. As you see here, 118,000, so almost 120,000. So if we might be able to look for another one here inside of this video. So I hear another one actually. Okay, this one sounds very far away here. I don't know why this is so fun. It's, it's like, it's so unique other than just like looking for it, but we're using our character to indicate. Okay, we have one right there, I see it. So there is one up there. Oh, I can, ooh, baby, look at that. All right, here we go. So as you see here, as we get close to it, the beep will get louder. So we're gonna use our position code breaker here. That's we're gonna interact intriguing. with it. We're going to do the same thing we did before. So basically, we're just going to do a right click and we're going to do another right click. That's only twice. Crazy. And here we go. 22,000 and plus pure energy residue, which is one of the materials that you need to farm ultimate bunny. And you get a lot of Kuiper shards, which is actually crazy. Someone mentioned this inside of my video, in my comments in my last video, because I just realized how much Kuiper shards you actually get while farming these while using Enzo looking for these encrypted vaults. And I didn't realize it. And I was like, wait, this could be a cool video to make because everyone is making their own videos how to like get the best farm. This might be the best farm. But the other thing is you actually have to farm for the these code breakers, which can be very confusing, but there is different rarities of these. So there is going to be like blues and purples. There's also a other material here, position code breaker here. Um, you can find these basically anywhere in these missions. Like you can just farm these missions and just go anywhere and just use these code breakers and just find them anywhere. It's pretty easy and simple. And uh, I'm going to scan the area and see if we can find a couple more here to Pretty much demonstrate this video because i have a lot that i can probably farm up here which is which is actually ridiculous because this is having kuiper shards in game is going to be very important because upgrading your modules is going to get very expensive here which is uh crazy here so i'm just going to cut the video till i find another one here because i don't want making a video here and just me just running around listening for a sound when i can just cut the video so i'll see you guys here in a second All right, here we go so i fast traveled to the converter facility outpost on fortress i scanned the area here we go i heard a beep so there's some encrypted vault next to us so all right i hear it right here but this doesn't make sense how one can be over here which i don't know where it is seems like it's above us maybe because once i come out of this area i don't hear it no more okay here we go i'm just gonna keep looking here all right i think we're getting close to it so i'm just gonna keep making my way out of this cave oh look we have nice little enemies over here we can take out real quick hold on guys i still hear the beep I hate spamming it because I know that can be annoying for you guys. All right, but just getting close to it. I'm just trying to follow it, but it's really hard to really follow a sound here. It's very strange. It sounds like it's over here somewhere. Okay, I feel like we're getting closer because I hear the beep. So I'm just going to keep moving here. Watch. It's probably right in front of my face. I don't see it. I feel like it's going to be inside of this building somewhere. I feel like I'm getting closer to it. That's a weird beep and sound to hear. Oh, here we go. I knew it. I was right. All right, use precision code breaker. Here we go. Interact with that. I'm going to play this little mini game here. Right click. Okay, that's only one time. So it's probably going to get it spawn a pile. 27,000. Holy crap. All right, this is a massive farm that I, I don't see anybody making right now. So by the time this video uploads, someone probably already made a video on it. But I just, I'm not just saying this because someone mentioned this in my video. It kind of like, kind of lit up a light bulb above my head. I was like, wait, I noticed while farming ultimate bunny that you get a lot of kuiper shards by farming these encrypted vaults all right i'm gonna fast travel to a different location here i'm gonna go over here i want to go to the aurora forest see if we can find any over here all right here another beep i took that fast travel there then i took another one through this gate right here that leads to another area i'll clear out these enemies over here real quick i right, hear another robot sound 
end over here. So there might be one over here, which I really covered in my recent video of ultimate bunning farming, which there was one already over here. So it's like they're scattered all around this area. I don't know if they're random or they just spawn in different games, but you guys confirm that in the comments below. Here's a cave over here. So we have another one right here. Nice. So we do not have that persistent code breaker. So we don't have that right one though. So we have to keep running around and keep finding these statues here. Okay, sounds like we have another one over here. So keep looking. Keep on looking. All right, I'm going to go down here because it looks like there might be one down here. I don't see anything yet. We're getting closer to one because I hear the beeping sound getting more aggressive. All right, I think there's one over here by this cave over here. I don't think we're going to have the right one here. Okay, it doesn't look like it's there. I think there's another cave over here that we can look at here. There's another cave over here. Let's we'll see where this is. There we go. We found one. There we go. Another one. Use code breaker. That's an intriguing code, but... All right. Still a piece of cake. Still got the same one here. So I was gonna left click. Well, that took one time. Wow. That did not give us any Kuiper shards, which is kind of interesting. All right, so there we go. That's literally how you can farm Kuiper shards using Enzo. So yeah, hope you guys will enjoy this, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.